And so um, they knew of my interest. Mm -hmm. But when I came back and told them I was going to move, they were like, what? (laughs) This can't be happening. It's all happening too fast. And then I said, you know, depending on when my home would be finished, Mm -hmm. I was going to leave. So I have 16 grandchildren. And um, yes, yes. Give me, give me two high fives. <laughs> hey, what's good, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. This is Eko Simpson. Today, I visited the Yasebu Pan African Village uh, to have a conversation with my mom. Uh, you know that uh, the government or the president invited the African diaspora to come to Ghana and settle here and then the chief or the king of Asibu said if you're coming you need a place to stay so i'm offering five thousand acres of free land so just behind us is the whole of Asibu pan-african village there is some in front of us and then there are some at where we are right now this is a beautiful project i came here i've been seeing this building you know every day when i pass by to you know go check some uh, land out with some people and I've never entered this house until today. I said, let me just come in and then int- uh, intrude. Yes, this is, I'm coming to intrude. <laughs> she didn't invite me. I'm coming here to, you know, this is intrusion. Yes, just to show you that idea, that vision that you have to move to the motherland can be materialized. If yeah. you, you stay by your words and then you just learn, you are open-minded, then you can live happily here on the motherland. So today I have here with me, my mom, I always use the mom because she's my mom. She can give birth to me like 10,000 times. <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, thank you very much. Yes, I've seen you around uh, when we did the birthday party at Moy's place. Yes. Mm-hmm. We've also met in uh, Cape Coast at the beach. Yes. And I have done something wrong. I've never asked your name. So I want you to tell me your name and then tell people who are watching which part of the state are you from? And okay. what made you really move to Africa? All right. So my name is Karen King. Karen King. Yes, yes. I remember. Karen. You remember now? And I remember. Karen King. <laughs> yes. And I'm originally from Washington, D.C. Okay. Um, I was born and raised there. And then I moved to um, from one state to another. And I ended up in Raleigh, North Carolina. Okay. So that's where I um, was living when I decided to, to come to Ghana. Okay. So we have two states that we have to say shout outs to, right? Washington, yes. D.C. and... Yes. Raleigh, North Carolina. Okay, I can't say that way. I will, Raleigh. I will, Raleigh, <laughs> North Carolina. North Carolina. So shout out to everybody from many of these states. We are here, you know, chilling and doing what we have to do. Now, the, the question has been, those in Africa, we see the West as the best part of life, where you can yeah, have everything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know you may agree or not, but what made you decide that, I want to move to Africa and settle here. Yeah, okay. Well, for me, it was more of a calling. Okay. You know, it wasn't that I, you know, was planning to do it, but I just started to begin to feel led to do it. Okay. And, you know, it's like I need to go back to the motherland. Mm -hmm. And then I heard that there was free land in 2019 being given away. Okay. And so I uh, connected with Sister Yah. She's in Accra. Yeah, I know. And uh, she helped me to get land. So I bought my land sight unseen. Okay. And um, then COVID hit, and so it took a long time for me to get my indentures. But once I got them, then I heard that there was a a group of people coming for a tour with God Box Tours. Mm -hmm. And um, Ron Dalton and a bunch of folks came. We came in 2021. And so when I got here, when I got off the plane and, and got on the land, it just, it was like, I'm home. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, I'm home. And then yeah. um, before, we were here 14 days. Okay. So before the 14 days were over, mm-hmm. I was saying, I'm moving to Ghana. Wow. You know, so it wasn't the plan so that, Was it your first time moving to Ghana? Was it your first time mm-hmm. coming to Ghana? Yes, that was my first time. And then you touched on the ground and you were like, I knew, this is home. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And so I was with a friend of mine, Cheryl, and she was just here last week, mm-hmm. actually. And um, we both felt the same thing that okay. we knew we needed to move here. Um, yeah. And so we started making plans. Yeah. And now she's building a home as well, but okay. uh, not in the Pan-African village, okay. but she's building a home as well. So I got the land and then we came on a tour. Mm-hmm. When I was on the tour, I met Nikki L. Okay. Um, from the Traveling Israelite. Yeah. 
And he was building his home, which is over there. Over there. And so I said, can you help me get my home built? And so that was the beginning. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> You've done well. Welcome to the motherland. <laughs> thank yes. you. Thank so you. I'm so before, happy to be here. Before you came, you, you may have had a conversation with your family, mm. your friends. Yeah. Maybe your co-workers. And then you were like, hey, I'm moving to Ghana. I wouldn't like to use the word Africa because... Let's educate right. ourselves. Right. Africa is a continent. Yes. Africa right. is not a country. That's so right. if you want to say, be specific with where you want to go. Okay. So mm -hmm. when you decided to say you want to come to Ghana, mm -hmm. how was the feeling like with your family? What were they saying? Yeah. Some things had happened before I um, made the decision. They knew I was coming for a visit okay. and they knew that I wanted to come. Okay. I have three daughters and a son. So my daughters lived in Raleigh okay. uh, with me. And we all were part of a, a Hebrew Israelite assembly. Okay. okay, so I had a big map of Africa on my wall, okay. <laughs> and you know I was all saying, you know, I'm, we're going to go to Ghana. I had my DNA done, mm -hmm. test done, and so I was, you know, it pointed back to Ghana and to Nigeria and some, you know, other places because yeah, yeah. they can't really pinpoint. Yeah. And so um, they knew of my interest. Mm -hmm. But when I came back and told them I was going to move, they were like, what? I just, <laughs> this can't be happening. Yeah. It's all happening too fast. Yeah. And then I said, you know, depending on when my home would be finished, mm -hmm. I was going to leave. So I have 16 grandchildren. And, 16? Um, yes, yes. Give me, give me two high fives. <laughs> <laughs> 16 grandchildren, five great-grandchildren. You've and already gotten the great, great one. Yes, yes, I really have. And so I'm leaving all of them. And yeah. they were like, and they call me Giggy, okay? Giggy, Giggy you can't Giggy. leave us. You can't leave us. But um, then after a while, it, you know. It became normal. Yeah, they accepted that it was happening when we started seeing the videos of the house yeah. being built and yeah. everything. And then in May, um, I, I came back with two of my daughters mm -hmm. and two of my grandsons. Okay. And so once my daughters came and then um, I was staying, was going to stay with Mikio and Kezia mm -hmm. because my home still wasn't, wasn't built. Yeah. yeah. And they were gracious enough to let me uh, stay. And so one of my grandsons, the oldest one, Zavion, he's 21. He wanted to stay. He didn't want to go back. He didn't want to go back. Really? So, no, he just was like, I don't want to leave either. <laughs> so he stayed with me um, for, you know, from May, and we went back in October. He came back with me oh, in November. He's really and determined. Then, yes, and then he left again, but he'll be back in July. In July. So, and my other grandson, CJ, was with us. He wanted to stay, but he couldn't. Yeah. And so he came back with me mm -hmm. in November. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love this family. You know, I love uh, it when the family also decides to say, okay, if this is what our, our, our mother our grandmother, our yeah. great grandmother, want to do. Let's support her. Let's yeah. do it together. Now I've seen this beautiful project that you have here. Mm -hmm. I've gone through the house, and it beats my imagination. Cause I I, I see this house to be very small, but yeah. when we went in, it's way different. Yeah. So I have my last question before you take me around the house okay. and show me what exactly is in there. Um, how long did, did it take for you to put this together? It actually took a, a little over a year. And okay. that part of that was because of the rainy season, the rainy which season. was extra long, seemed like last year. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, then you, you pay as you go, right? Yeah. So, you know, just getting the money. And, and um, during that time, I retired. And mm -hmm. so, you know, just different things that happened. Okay. Um, it took a little bit longer than I then it has to. I think okay. for other people, it may not take as long to get a house built. Yeah, right. Yeah. So when you say pay as you go, what does it mean? When 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 they come, they work this part. You pay them. They come back work this part. Is that what? Yeah, yeah. So you have to pay for your house as you go. Right. In the states, you can get a loan. Okay. For the whole amount. So if your house says fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollars, you can get a loan for the fifty thousand dollars. And then you pay the bank yeah. every month, but you're going to pay the bank with interest. With interest, yeah. So by the time you finish paying back the bank, you probably didn't pay three times mm -hmm. as much okay. as what you paid on the house. Okay. But here, I love it because you pay for it as you go. So now I have no mortgage. I no have mortgage. No, yes. no payment. <laughs> you're not paying anybody. No, no. 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 no I have an electric bill. Okay. Um, but I have the, you know, the borehole. The borehole, yeah. I have solar. Okay. Um, and um, I have um, a generator. A generator. So... 
if the electric goes out, which it did, as you might yes. know, yesterday, <laughs> yesterday. for a long time, <laughs> I used some, my solar, solar um, and then when the solar ran out, I had my generator. Yeah, okay, so, so you have three different right. um, power supply yes. to your house, yes. and that is good, you know. You need to give yourself that option. Don't only rely on the government rate. Just try any other thing like that, okay? Yeah. So I want you to take me on a tour to your house. Okay. And then let's see what you would say at the end of this video. Let's do that. All right. Mm -hmm.